When Ranch Front Tyson did telephone Jane Doe, urge her to return with her children, and did say, quote, I know Michael would love for you to come back to the ranch for the safety of all concerned, and now is not the right time to be out there alone. Never turn your back on Michael, and Michael wants to see you in the family, and you need to go back to the ranch and see Michael because he's very concerned, and even staying another night alone is not safe. Frank Tyson did tell Jane Doe that, quote, we would love for you to go on tape and just say something beautiful about Michael, end quote. And that's just... Well, oh, uh, just, 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 just right out of the jury instructions. But, the jury it, it, I did. but you know what? That's, I love that tape. And you know what? I wish, first of all, I wish you could actually, we had the time to play that tape because it was played in court. Yeah. And I heard that tape. Yeah. It's a terrific conversation for Frank. I mean, it's a terrific conversation for Michael too, for the conspiracy account. But particularly Frank, what you don't have in there is her responses. You know, on the tape, she's heaping praise on this kid. She is right, saying, she's like the Germans. She's afraid of the Germans. Germans. They're the ones who have been praying. She said, let me finish, would you please? And then we'll do that in that turn. No. no, 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 no. Um, she's no. saying, Frank, I love you. You are like brother to my children. Right. You are like family to us. You've always been good to me. Thank you for caring for me. I'm I am scared. There are reporters camped outside my house. Now, you don't have that in there. It makes it look like Frank's just inventing this reason for her to come back and feel safe at the ranch. Listen, listen, but listen. No, he, she is okay, saying, I, well, I, am, I am concerned. Yes, is Frank is wanting Frank to protect Michael? Does Frank want sure. to protect Michael's reputation? Okay. Is Frank okay, wanting to on the tape? Hold, hold on, hold on. It, there was testimony about the killers out there. We're not talking about the guys with the No, 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 I, I understand. Oh. But the conversations about being safe, being safe, there were allegedly people out there threatening because of the Bashir tape. So why was it, who's, who's telling you, why was it you need to get her back on the place? Well, it's, I got to interrupt, I'm, 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 I heard the tape, he sure. didn't listen to that tape. Okay. I was ready for litigation, I was ready for trial, I heard the message. The answer is, she is saying, I don't feel safe on that conversation played in court. She's saying there are reports camped outside my house, okay. I'm scared, I don't... And yes, he, he, then you can answer, but that's the bottom line. He's responding to her concerns. That's why she's heaping praise on him. He's not overbearing. He's not threatening her. He's not making demands. Okay, I mean, he's just saying another threat. night alone is not safe. Based on well, her no, we, concern. The, okay, this right. is your interpretation. But, but your, your answer to that, these people are leaving, and you're saying, come back, be safe here. You didn't tell Michael you were going to leave. He's very concerned. You need to come back. Why? Why? Because this is a family. Like Joe said, you didn't. You were only saying one part of it. I'm glad Joe was there to say the other part. Who was scared? Who came to me, Frank, and said, Frank, I'm getting threats. There's reporters coming to me. There's reporters. The reporters aren't threatening. No. No, she said she was getting threats. On the yeah, yeah, okay. She said that. Uh, we don't know from who, but she said that she was. Okay. So you know what? Due to the responsibility, to an extent, you know what, to an extent, from watching the Bashir interview, this is really what caused it, the Bashir interview. And after that, she's been getting problems from the schools that uh, her kids were in. She's been getting problems from the kids every single day. She's been getting uh, calls from reporters wanting, asking her to, you, to write a story, sure. a manipulate a story, but they didn't want the, they wanted a bad story from her. She happened to say, Frank, uh, these people everywhere, I don't know what to do. And you have to understand, this is a family who has nothing, has nothing. And you know what, what are they supposed to do? Are we supposed to abandon them at that point when te indirectly it's kind of our responsibility that they're in this mess? Well, on that tape, she tells you over and over again that she's, the Germans have intimidated her. She's worried about the Germans, very uncomfortable about the Germans. And you tell her, they're gone. Come home, they're gone. First thing she sees when she comes back, on your assurance, they're there. Why'd you lie to her? I never lied to her. I never lied to her. You told her the Germans were gone. No, I told her. Well, that. I see the potential mistake about it, Catherine. Yeah. I mean, all right, all right, right. Let's, let's say Why did you say that, and why, why did you, why you say it? Here? Why did you say it? They were not supposed to have, and they never did after that. They didn't have to deal with the, the Germans, or so you call them. I'm, I'm using her terms. I'm just, so, 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 excuse yeah. me, so she calls them. Yeah. And I told them, you don't have to deal. She trusted me. She wanted me to help her. And you know what? I really didn't want, but didn't want to have anything to do with this. And you know what? I did because I was the only one at that point that she trusted. And I did. And I tried to help the best I could. There was some testimony about one thing. But before I get that, you, you got, your family got to know him. You've had Thanksgivings, Christmases. I think there's something about calling your grandmother, Grandma Michael does. Very, very close. Uh, I understand he's bought 
the family cars, cars. given gifts. How, well, like, true or not? No, no, you tell no, me. Show me what car. Fault. This is this is what's been reported. Of so I'm giving you a chance to Just tell like it. any human relationship with mm -hmm. any family, Christmas time, whenever you mm -hmm. do exchange presents. There's no cars or buying things to, to buying us up. That's no. Didn't give your father a big hundred, multi hundred thousand dollar loan or, or gift? No. No? Never. No money? I mean, never. Ever to your father? Never. Okay. Now again, these are things that have been reported. I'm, I'm giving I'm you an opportunity to address it. No. And by the okay. way, and by the way, so, I mean, no, honestly, no, no, so. No, I, I understand. I, I don't know. But you press that question. So, it's how a far, prosecutor is far, no, far from, from the alleged well. accusers acts we've no, come. The, the, the Michael, no, 12 years ago, we're talking about the conspiracy now. We're about the conspiracy now. And in fact, so if, if a prosecutor... So, if a gift was given to... Frank's father that was getting ready for 12 years down the road, his son to become a co-conspirator so I could swirl these people who probably weren't no, even born No, I didn't again. say 12 years ago. Oh. Could have been yesterday as far as I okay. know. No? But in fact, there is a, if there's a pecuniary interest, it does make an arguable point as to why somebody would say the things they said. Yeah. And, and to follow that up, there was that check they talked about, million bucks, uh, given over to you from the Neverland Valley, yeah, but no. made out to cash. A lot of people have said, whoa, that's why he's being so nice to Michael. Whoa, I wish I had the money, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't think nice. it would yeah. be very nice, especially yeah. at this point. I would love to have this type of money. Me too. You too. Love you. You can pay bills, right? I'm talking pay. Yeah. So anyway. But you, you say you don't, and people go, okay, well, there's plenty of offshores and short accounts. How do we know you don't have the money? It was cash, for God's sake. How do I know? Or how no, no, no. no. I'm asking you. Because well, that certainly argued, that yeah. was sort of suggested that, that you were paid off in the course of the trial. Excuse me. Well, no. No, no. Give, give, give me the answer what happened with the money. Sorry. The whole thing with the money really comes down to, and it's very hard, like I said, for the outside society to understand. Yeah, a million dollars cash. But we're talking on a whole nother level. But we're talking about a guy who's supposed to be going bankrupt. No, but we're talking on a whole nother level here. We're not talking about the everyday person on the street. So yes, it's very difficult, maybe from the outside looking in, to fathom, wow, a million dollars in cash. But what happened to the money? It wasn't his money. 